this country so lacks discipline um, that I think there's going to need to be steps put into the maturation of young adults that bring them the same kind of socialization experiences that a higher education always brought. But I don't think you can go to school for just four years anymore. I think you have to go to school for two years every 10 years or something. And I think we have to rethink in what bites. I mean, you're already seeing the colleges and universities making so much money off these short certificate programs that people can do largely online, where you take six or eight classes and you're certified in an area of speciality. And I think we're gonna see more and more of that. I don't think that it's gonna be we're gonna give up on education. I think we're gonna put more emphasis on education. So it's gonna be not um, a Pac-10 football game. Although, having been at one recently, I'll tell you, I see absolutely no evidence to support my claim. The stadium is sold out, people are going crazy. But I think that, the, that it's almost like 1928. It, the, there's about to be a big crash. We just don't know when it's coming. I think higher education is going to really suffer because there is no money left in the bank to pay for it. And I think they've priced themselves out. When Boston University is looking for north of $60,000 a year, when USC has an advertising campaign, they're running the Wall Street Journal right now where they talk about we give away more scholarship money than any other institution. Um, we recognize that what we've always known to be true is not gonna be true.